Lively Legs Hair's Ear. The hook I have in a vise is a size 14. This is a nymph hook. I'm going to start out by putting some weight on there. I'm going to use 10,000 lead wire. And I'm going to start it just behind the point and I'm going to bring that up forward. And we'll break that off. And remove that back. I'm going to use brown thread. I'm going to start the thread behind the eye. And we're going to secure the lead wraps. And we're going to stop that thread where it would hang at the barb of the hook. Since we're at the back, we're going to I'm going to put the tail on. And for this particular one, it's a light lighter color <coughs> hair's ear. I'm going to use a hen pheasant tail for the tail. And I have six or eight fibers. And I want that tail to be oh three quarters the length of the hook shank. Go ahead and secure that. Put a wrap underneath the tail. And I can bring that up and cover over a lot of the lead wraps. Remove that excess. And we're going to take one of the legs. These are lively legs livelylegs.com this is small size 16 I am going to use it for a size 18 and here they are and we're only going to use two of these legs two sets we're going to take our lively legs and we're going to secure them we're going to secure them from the tab in the front first And we're going to bring them back. Make sure that they're on top. Put a couple wraps in between the legs. And now I'm going to trim off that back pair of legs. Going to bring the thread back. Now for the rib, I have a gold fine wire. Going to take some of my beeswax and wax that thread very good idea to use wax on your thread when you're using hair's ear dumbing I'm going to take light hair's ear and for the abdomen you don't want a lot so when you put it on you want to see almost nothing in your fingers when you go put when you start to dub We already got a pretty thick abdomen from the uh, lead wire. And I'm going to wrap this and see how far I get with this. And I got right up in back of the legs to where I want. And we're going to take that gold wire and we're going to wrap this. For a fly this small, it's, it's hard to get tinsel that skinny. 
So using the gold wire is a good idea. It adds weight and it also gives you that gold color that you're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and helicopter that off. Now, for the wing case, I'm going to use the dark turkey feather from the turkey tail. And you want to make sure you get that dark section. I'm going to tie this right in. And now the thorax section, you could dub that just a little bit heavier. But remember, it's always better to add more than to take off. So don't get too crazy with the dubbing. You could also go over it to make it thicker. And we're going to wrap this. Make sure you look at the bottom and so you don't miss any uh, on the bottom. There we go. See, and I could wrap that a little bit heavier in the thorax area. I'm going to hold those legs back to, to wrap the front. They keep coming apart or slipping on me. Bring that thread up to the eye. We're going to fold over the wing case. Add a couple of wraps, pull that back, a couple of wraps in front, and we can remove the excess. Be careful you don't get a leg. And I'm going to wrap the head. Take our whip finish. And we're going to give it a little bit of head cement. We're going to clean the brush off pretty good. We don't want to get the head cement on the rubber legs. Going to take a Hackle feather just laying on the desk, and I'm going to run that through the eye. And here we have a lively legs, gold ribbed hair is here. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.